Of all the candidates in the race, the front runner right now is someone who isn't even running yet. The 76-year-old man with the 12-year-old teeth, Joe Biden. <laughs> now, currently, the former vice president is putting out feelers to see where he stands. And apparently, the answer is too close to women. Joe Biden on defense, after a former Nevada state lawmaker said he made her feel uneasy during an interaction in 2014. Lucy Flores first made the allegation in an essay for The Cut on Friday, detailing the encounter with the former vice president at a campaign rally in Nevada as she ran for lieutenant governor. Flores does not believe it was sexual, but she calls it inappropriate. Very unexpectedly and out of nowhere, I feel Joe Biden put his hands on my shoulders, get up very close to me from behind, lean in, smell my hair, and then plant a slow kiss on the top of my head. Okay. <laughs> that sounded super creepy. And even though she says it wasn't sexual at all, it clearly made her uncomfortable. And it's definitely not okay. I mean, smelling hair is always weird, all right? I don't care who it is. Even if you're in a relationship, if you smell your girlfriend's hair, she won't say anything, but in her head, she'll be like, is he a serial killer? <laughs> like, honestly, smelling hair is one of the creepiest things you can do. It's, it's on the list of creepy things. It's right after collecting doll parts and sneezing with your eyes open. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. <laughs> like... Like, like, this is my thing. What is it with America's vice presidents, right? None of them are normal. One guy is smelling women's hair. The other one refuses to be near a woman without a chaperone. Isn't there a middle ground? There's no vice middle president, huh? There's nowhere between Me Too and Handmaid's Tale? No, someone in between? <laughs> and it's not just the hair sniffing. Apparently, Biden also gave her a slow kiss on the top of her head, which, again, is super creepy, all right? As a rule of life, the slower the kiss, the creepier it gets. It's as simple as that. When you greet someone, you keep it quick. Mwah, mwah. See that? Not creepy at all. That's it. Slow kiss it when it gets weird. Mwah. You see that? Yeah, super creepy. All those slow ones are creepy. All those men out there doing the slow kiss, don't do that to women you don't know. That includes you, Omari Hardwick, all right? Busy out here kissing Beyonce slowly near her mouth. You don't kiss Beyonce like that. Who the hell do you think you are? You get in, you get out, it's over. You don't linger when you kiss. Let me tell you something. Whenever I see Beyonce, you know how I kiss her hello? I go, mwah, mwah, right? And I do that at home. Then when I see her in public, I'm like, hi, Beyonce, hi, <laughs> hi. I have no business kissing her. <laughs> and if Joe Biden's story wasn't weird enough, just today, another woman came out and said Biden made her feel uncomfortable as well. There is now another woman making an accusation that former Vice President Joe Biden inappropriately touched her. Not sexually, not violently, but in her view, inappropriately. The Hartford Current newspaper reports that at a 2009 fundraiser, Amy Lapo said the Vice President put his hand on her neck and pulled her in to rub noses. Lapo tells the Current she was afraid he was going to kiss her. What are you doing, rubbing noses with random... Like, as if harassment wasn't bad enough. Now you have to throw in cultural appropriation? What is he doing? <laughs> And I've already seen people online saying, oh, it's just a nose. What's the big deal? First of all, it's an invasion of personal space, okay? And also, medically speaking, the nose is the penis of the face, all right? <laughs> yeah, it totally is. It sticks out in weird ways. There's gooey stuff inside that gets shot into a tissue. And when you're, when you're young, your mom can touch it. But when you get older, that's super weird. Don't touch it, mom. <laughs> Don't touch it. I've been touching it my whole life. Yeah, but now it's weird, mom. It's weird. Let me put it this way. If rubbing noses was just Biden being cute and being a harmless grandpa, how come you've never seen him do it with men, huh? How come? Yeah, Biden spent eight years hanging out with Barack Obama, and not once was he like, congrats on passing Obamacare. <laughs> so now, because of sniff kiss gate, <laughs> Biden's campaign might be over before it even starts. And people are freaking out, because if he doesn't run, the Democrats would only have 16 candidates to choose from, <laughs> and only six of them would be white guys. An absolute disaster. <laughs> but Biden isn't ready to give up, my friends. No. He's gently grabbing this scandal by the shoulders, and he's doing damage control. Biden issued a statement saying, in my many years on the campaign trail and in public life, I have offered countless handshakes, hugs, expressions of affection, support, and comfort. 
and not once, never, did I believe I acted inappropriately. If it is suggested I did so, I will listen respectfully, but it was never my intention. Oh, you know what? I've got to say, that seems like a nice apology. Because basically what Biden is saying is, look, I didn't mean to make these women uncomfortable, but I'm willing to listen. I'm gonna listen real close. <laughs> just gonna lean in there nice and close, maybe just get a little sniff of... Ben Biden, get away, Biden! 